Fluid balance can be maintained only if intake equals output. This brings to mind questions such as, what happens when extracellular fluid volume decreases below normal? What mechanisms can assist the body to re-establish fluid balance? First, an incident such as dehydration due to exercise occurs. This causes extracellular fluid volume, including the blood volume, to decrease, which in turn decreases the arterial blood pressure. Baroreceptors are located in the walls of certain arteries, and detect this decrease in blood pressure. This in turn triggers impulses to be sent to the thirst center in the hypothalamus of the brain. At the same time, this decrease in blood volume can be detected by special cells within the kidneys, which respond by releasing an enzyme in the blood. This leads to a chain reaction that eventually stimulates the manufacture and release of the hormone aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. The increase in aldosterone increases kidney tubule reabsorption of sodium, which moves out of the blood and into the extracellular fluid. This eventually increases the total sodium content of the body. Keeping in mind the phrase, where salt goes, water soon follows, water reabsorption increases as sodium is reabsorbed. This results in a decreased urine volume and output to compensate for the decreased intake and an increase in water volume in the extracellular fluid to bring water back to within the normal volume levels. This overview of the aldosterone mechanism is an example of just one way the body adapts to maintain its fluid balance.